how to live a life of montagne. Ah, montagne. You're now officially added to my list of peculiar historical men that fascinate me to no end alongside Teddy Roosevelt and Ben Franklin. Hi and welcome to the book club, I'm Bjorn and this is the place where we bring you the best book recommendations when it comes to philosophy, psychology, human nature, human potential and today we're going to talk about how to live about a peculiar man named Montagne. He wrote 107 essays with simple titles like of friendship, of cannibals, of names, of cripples. He was a great observer of the world but most of all he observed and wrote about himself. Montagne he was born in a well-off family but he was sent out by his parents to be nursed by peasants as an infant in this weird attempt of creating a bond with the commoners that he would later one day need to help. But this was just the start of his parents educational experiments. Montagne he was brought up to be a native Latin speaker. This was a hard plan to pull off because no one around him was a native Latin speaker and the rest of the household they spoke minimal or no Latin at all. Quote, still French was his language of choice, end quote. His essays, they give a weird reason for why he chose to write in French instead of the classical languages. He thought that French would not be around as long as the classical languages like let's say Latin for instance and he found this idea freeing that if his writing was flawed, which he was convinced it was, then to hell with it, right? It was doomed anyway. Quote, a man should touch his wife prudently and soberly, lest if he caresses her too lavishly, the pleasure should transport her outside the bound of reason. This is uh, Montaigne quoting Aristotle, basically stating the conventional notion of the day that if a husband is too passionate, he will turn his wife into an infomaniac. Pay attention. Just as Montaigne learned, one of the best ways to pay attention is to write about everything. Just trying to describe all the simple and small things that we see in the world opens up our eyes for how marvelous they are. In his essay on cripples, Montaigne speculates in the rumor that he heard that crippled women are more enjoyable in bed and as Aristotle before him he tries to speculate in why that must be. Quote, their vaginas are more muscular because they receive the nourishment of which the legs are deprived. End quote. He was a big fan of Hellenistic philosophy, Stoicism and skepticism in particular. Stoicism because it preached wise detachment and skepticism because the skeptics held themselves back on principle. His motto was, what do I know? It's a fascinating biography. I really like this book and I think it works well for the person who is familiar with his works already or the uninitiated like myself. This is my first encounter with Montagne. I totally fell in love with the guy through this book. So I really recommend this biography. And yeah, I'm back next week with more book reviews. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. It really helps me reach more people. And write in the comments, who is your favorite character of history? Who is that person that is like, oh, this guy is crazy, but in a good way. Share it in the comments and I'll see you next Thursday with more book reviews. Bjorn out.